My name is Joe Reichard. I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Saab Doctor. Today we're going to be discussing Saab Direct Ignition Cassettes. Stay tuned. So over here on the table, we have three different direct ignition cassettes. We have a red direct ignition cassette. This is for a T5 car. And a black direct ignition cassette, which is for a T7 car. Now, why do I have two black direct ignition cassettes here? I'm going to get to that in just a second. I want to explain how you can read the date codes on these first. So, hopefully that zooms in. So on this one, for example, it says 0548. Hopefully you can read that. 05, so this is a 2005, and it was made the 48th week of 2005. Also, it'll have an SEM tag. If it's a real one, you'll see all of these castings in it. So it'll say sub, it'll have an SEM casting. It'll also have this like grid thing on the top, which I believe is some type of uh, like date grid. I'm not 100% sure. It'll always have this warning that says, you know, hopefully you can read it. Only resistor spark plugs, so make sure you only use resistor spark plugs. And of course, it'll have a Saab, you know, a Saab logo and a part number. This red one is the exact same way. This is from whoop, the 10th week of 2006. Part number. SEM tag, stamped with Saab, stamped with SEM, has this bit up here. And you know, the one thing you watch for in these are things like cracks. And this one has a crack in it. This is out of the 9000, so may have an, it, this one may have issues. So you know, that's kind of what you watch for on these. And you want to make sure you know, you, you see, all the, see all the right signs. It says Saab on it. It's got all, you know, got all these castings and whatnot. So that brings me to the third one that I have standing here, which is a cheap aftermarket Chinese one. Now, now this one did run perfectly in the car. However, the cheap Chinese ones are known for having issues with not, you know, not having longevity, making the cars not run right, destroy catalytic converters I've heard of. I've heard of all kinds of things, but the biggest thing is failure. The way to point out whether this is a real one or a fake one is, no tag, no castings, no date code stamp, no, no extra uh, sticker in the middle. So that's kind of the easy way to point the two out. Now the interesting thing is this one is a pretty good copy because it still says direct ignition on the top. So when I pulled this out of the car that it was in, I actually thought it was an SEM one, didn't think anything of it, and then I found out that it wasn't. So that's kind of a quick rundown on the different direct ignition cassettes. Uh, you know, you, you definitely should run a stock one or an OE one. The other thing that I actually just noticed is this one has this one has hex, hex screws in it, where both of the SEM ones actually have star screws. So that's another way you can tell the difference between the two. However, the, the biggest thing to watch for is just watch for those SEM tags. Uh, make sure to run an OE one. I will put the part numbers and links to the OE ones in the description below, so that way you can, if you need to buy a new one, you can buy a new one or you can look for that part number if you're looking at used ones. Just make sure that the used ones don't look like this because this is a China one. So now cars that should have a red DI in it are T5 cars and the 9000s that have K-Jetronic, I believe. I'm probably, I'm probably wrong. I, the, the early 90s 2000 the early 90s 9000s will have will have the red di's in them obviously the cars that don't have distributors um so you'll have though you'll have all 9000s with red di's you'll have 
all NG900s that are turbo will have red DIs. You will have 1999 93s that are non vegan so those are T5 cars. And those are all the cars that will have a red DI in it. The black DI you'll have in all 95 prior to the NG95, so all 95s prior to 2010 model year. And 93s from 2000 through 2003, excluding 2003 sedan. 2003 sedan has an Ecotec motor, those have the coil packs, and all Vigans will have black DIs. Now there is there is a little bit of um, a back and forth on this. If you have a T5 car and you are in a pinch, you could run a black DI for a short period of time. I've seen it, I've done it, it works. I would not recommend doing it, but if you're in a pinch and it's all you have and you need to get home and then you have a red DI sitting at home, you could always potentially do that. Um, other than that, that's, that's about all folks. If you have any questions, don't forget, shoot me a message at one of the social links below or leave a comment. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and sob on, folks.